Right, um, this is where I'm going to plant my sulfur colour cosmos. Um, so I need to do a bit of weeding first. It's a very well drained area. Um, cosmos are great because once you put them in, they pretty much look after their self other than propping up and deadheading. Um, you may notice from last year I've got a few um, loving the mist coming through, self seeding. I'm going to leave those because they provide good ground cover. Um, as everybody, slugs are a problem and I'm going to do the wall pellets and my um, oyster shell. I'll just keep an eye on it. It worked last two years in this bed. So here we go. So I'm just going to take out anything I don't want in. I never had problems with clover until I imported some muck. So just be careful. Um, these are geraniums off the gravel that spread. So I'm just going to take out what I don't want. And then dig it over. I'm going to plant this cosmos, which is sulphur mix. I've had great trouble getting the cosmos off the ground once because I had to replant everything because I bought a supposedly good potting compost, one that had some sort of special chip bark in, and things have actually died in it and they haven't flourished. Um, these look a bit small, but it's the 1st of June and I'm really behind on my planting now. Um, I know Vivi from the Horticultural ch um, Channel said she had same trouble with putting out the tomatoes it's either too wet too windy so I'm just going to go with the flow and hopefully protect well from slugs I pack this bed really well because um, I like a dense planting I don't like to see plants almost like singular unless they're a massive plant um, and with a hound that likes running I don't know what that is. Oh, with a hound that likes running, I do have to protect it a bit. Um, and I found him the other day because it was nice and soft and he didn't want to sit on the gravel sitting in it. So, yeah, beware if you've got dumb hounds, bless him. Um, right, so I'm going to plant this up and then I'll show you how I'm going to try and protect it with um from slugs um i'm not totally enamored that um pellets wall pellets because you have to use so many on their own work i mean it is an old old it's like folklore but it does work is that you use sheep staggings to prevent slug damage now see sheep staggings are simply when the farmer trims the tail with all the poo that's hanging on it or round the bottom of the sheep um, to stop it getting fly strike. So there is some history behind you know marketing this. My son does work on a farm and he forgot to co um, collect the daggings for me. Um, so we'll try it, see how, how it does. Um, it has worked reasonably well on the other beds. Right, I'll show you when I... Right, my worry is, because they're so stumpy, they are going to be so close to the ground for the slugs. So with my... I'm going to be extremely liberal and create a circle of... Um, oyster shell around each plant you'll find you'll do it and then you'll see a gap that you've missed so all those always go back they haven't touched the love in the mist so I'm not bothering that because that's been there since it's self seeded and they haven't touched it as I say 
not totally convinced it would work on its own, but I put stuff on tables hardening off with gravel and sheets all round it for a few weeks now and I haven't really had much trouble. So let's just empty the rest on that. There we go. Okay. Right, I'll let you know how they go. They're not as tall as I usually like them as I explained. I do have some backups. Um, Let's go and have a look in the greenhouse, like everybody else, I'm so behind, I haven't even configured the greenhouse for the peppers and tomatoes yet because I've got so many seedlings still in. Everything needs a tidy up, it's a mess, so don't excuse me, I'm going to blame Oscar for that. <laughs> it's not really his fault, but because he's here, I can blame him. Um, let's go and look at the greenhouse. Right, this is the soil. I planted that saw that I said was naff weeks ago. I planted petunia. Look at them, awful. Compared with down there, petunias planted in a different soil. Peppers, tomatoes, more stocks, lobelia, leeks at a couple of levels, purple, broccoli. First time I've grown that, and again. Look in the cells where I've used that soil. Naff. Um, they are my cuttings of my dahlias. Potted up today. Some squashes. Some more tomatoes. And a couple of coleus. This is the greenhouse um, that I'm going to grow the tomatoes in. It's the warmer of the two greenhouses in the afternoon. Um, so in here I've got loads more bedding plants because I tend to give them to my mum who's not as able as she used to be. Um, can't get out of the greenhouse. Also some seeds that got wet so I put them in. Stocks. Again look, petunia done in decent soil, petunia done in this other soil. Prue soil makes a difference. Petunias squashes and lots of different things so this weekend the job is to configure the greenhouse for the tomatoes and the peppers etc and out here strawberries don't they look beautiful the flowers now these are the ones that I um, dug up from trailers that I didn't dig up and the one that I've left in a pot because I couldn't find anywhere else to go is the one that's got a strawberry and my dog's a little bugger if he sees a strawberry on a plant he'll nibble it off and eat it so that's good and three four weeks ago it was that weekend of the hot weather we planted this up and look at it go hello blaze hello blaze hello blaze Hello, strawberry knicker. So these are the Rob Smith tomatoes grown on outdoor roof stock. Um, so they're, they're the ones that are small as currants. And I've got down here radish. I can't see. A bit close together there. Radish. Herbs. tonight I think so I'm going to pick some of that now and we are going to have salad now always wash salad well soak it in salt you'll get rid of any creatures and enjoy freshly picked salad tastes so much nicer We're going to have salad for tea. And what are you harvested? And what have you enjoyed so far this season? Because it has been a weird old season and we don't seem to be getting much early. So what have you done well in? See you later.
table I've used for hard enough and as you can see I've used the wool pellets that are now softened in the rain and gravel and there's only a couple of holes I'm pretty impressed even on the lettuces that are desperate to be planted out I need to go up to the allotment and um, I've done well and um, just everything feels so stunted so this is my hardening off table all this can go in the ground as soon as I get the opportunity Hello, today I'm going to tell you a story. It's a happy story about a gardener. A very special gardener, a ginger gardener. Now the ginger gardener was always happy when she was in the greenhouse and working in the garden tending to the plants. But one day, nasty Mr Wind came along and blew everything away. Broke down the shed, took the panes out of the glass in the greenhouse and she was really, really upset and she cried. Ginger Gardener, like working in the garden, was very sad that all the damage had occurred. Anyway, after a while, men came along and everything was mended and the glass was put back in and the shed was repaired and the Ginger Gardener was really happy and their plants were able to grow, flowers bloomed and, and the fruit began to grow and we could eat it. And the ginger gardener was so happy, she skipped around the garden in joy until her hip broke. And then she had to be taken to the hospital and mended by the doctors. Anyway, after a while, she came back all mended and was really, really happy. <laughs>